Good morning. It is six o'clock on this Friday. Buckle up. It's going to be a messy one happening right now. A winter storm causing multiple school districts to shut down today, including Milwaukee, Kenosha, Racine, and you'll see all of those school closings at the bottom of your screen right now. Yeah, and Milwaukee County has just declared a snow emergency lasting through tomorrow morning. So we want to begin our live team coverage right now with meteorologist Marissa Wallace in Marissa, you can really see why these schools have closed and also declaring the uh, snow emergency. So much snow has actually accumulated since yesterday. Yeah, we are getting a lot of reports now filtering in more than seven inches of snow in quite a few locations farther from the lake. It's closer to five or six inches of snow even. So we are picking up still quite a bit of snow across the area. This is the view over the market interchange where we still have reduced visibility and snow still falling. I do expect another one to two inches of snow likely as we continue throughout the rest of this morning. But these are the latest reports into our area. We'll continue to get reports and I'll continue to update this, but you can see quite a few spots seeing up to about seven inches of snow and even a couple reports. And I forgot to add on to this one and Racine 10 and a half inches of snow. Sturdivant also just came in at nine inches of snow. So yes, we've had a lot of snow and it is on the heavier and wet side. If you were out and about last night when it was starting to fall or in the afternoon. We had a lot of water on the ground initially, then slush and then the snow, so it is quite heavy. Now we do have snow showers still across the area that we are starting to get to some pockets of some drier weather, but as we continue throughout the day, our pockets of drier weather will start to move in, not necessarily sunny, but still this morning we will be dealing with the scattered snow showers, though not as heavy as what we had overnight. So again, just one to two more inches expected across the area before things taper down that we will keep some isolated snow showers throughout this afternoon this evening as well as tonight. I'll time out the snow today, have more on the snowfall totals and also another chance for snow coming our way this weekend coming up in just a bit. But let's get you out there with your time saver traffic. Adriana, how's it going? Well, depending on where you're traveling, you might see either snow covered roadways or just wet pavement out there. Here's a look at I-41 right at Highway 50 in Kenosha County. If you take a look at that roadway across the interstate system, it looks pretty good. It looks like the roadway is just primarily wet in this area. But if you travel further north, we took a look earlier at the Sheboygan County cameras, those roadways completely snow covered out on the interstate system and side streets. So no matter where you're traveling, you're going to run into this slippery conditions out there. That's all that pink that is covering this road conditions map. We're also seeing some light blue spots, which is an indication that the roadways are either snow covered or just icy out there. So please, no matter where you're heading out this morning, take it slow and give yourself some additional time because we're seeing slick conditions across southeast Wisconsin. Simone and Andrea, over to you. That is the key. Thanks, Adriana. And we have crews out this morning monitoring those conditions outside. We want to continue our live team coverage right now with our Elaine Rojas Castillo, who is live in Racine. Elaine, of course, we're here to tell you about all the serious stuff, but you are really having some fun out in Racine this morning. Probably what kids are going to be doing as well. I am, and now that we know that Racine schools are closed today, I hope they have fun. We've actually been driving around just to get a better idea of what it looks like throughout Racine, and right now we're at 10. Okay, apologies. It looks like Elaine's signal has frozen out there. Maybe something the snow. to do with the weather. <laughs> uh, we'll get back to her as soon as we can, but about 10 inches at least in parts of yeah. Racine this morning. As she mentioned, schools closed there, so hopefully the kiddos can get out and play in some of that snow. But as we've mentioned, if you do need to head out this morning, get ready for a tricky morning commute. This is some dashboard footage from my drive into the TMJ 40 studios around 3:30 this morning. Snow still falling at that time and snow covered roads still remain across lots of our area. So let's get out to Uba Ali. She's live in the TMJ 4 storm chaser this morning with an update on road conditions. Good morning, ladies. We've been driving for about two hours now and depending on what if you're on the highway, if you're taking the back roads, you're seeing something different. So let me flip the camera because that was enough of me. Um, but we are approaching uh, North po North Port Washington Road and Brown Deer Road here in Brown Deer. And this is what we're seeing partially covered snow covered roads. Um, but I want you to pay attention to these big, you know, we know the snow is wet and heavy and sticky. So I just just look at these um, chunks that are being created um, here in this right in this intersection. Um, but if you continue even on the side of the road, you can kind of see it's starting to um, build up on um, here on uh, Brown Deer Road. But also just look at how beautiful and whimsical 
the snow looks on the trees. Obviously, take your time if you're going out there. Um, if you don't have to travel, don't. Um, but again, if you're on the road, you know, roads like this one, you're going to be seeing partially covered roads or slush mix. If you're on the interstate, a different story and we'll continue to bring you what we see. We'll hop on the intersection here in the next half hour. For now, back to you ladies in the studio. OK, thanks, Uba. It is beautiful and stay inside and look at it from inside if you can, rather than from behind the wheel. Right now, we want to talk about a power update from We Energy's thousands of customers in the region without power this morning because of the weather. More than 90,000 customers currently in the dark. Here's a look at the live outage map. If you do see downed power lines, We Energy's wants you to report that. Do not assume that they know about that and we'll keep you updated on these outages as the morning moves along. Yeah, we are really seeing the effects of the snow damage close up here. Take a look at your screen right now. This is a down tree. This is right in front of TMJ4, blocking a portion of the road near Humboldt and Capitol. You can see it's completely blocked. Uh, the snow really piled up there. And this is kind of what we have been seeing in different parts of our area. I know Adriana was also showing us some of those areas on the map. Uh, where we see down uh, maybe power lines and also trees as well. So if you do have to get out this morning, we can't say it enough. You definitely want to take your time because you might be running into something just like this right here on your screen. And just a reminder here as well, you can always keep tabs on our winter weather anytime, anywhere with the free TMJ4 app at TMJ4.com.